Hello all, today I am going to film a little get ready with me using all the products that I purchased during the Sephora sale. So I have quite a few things. Um, I will be giving you know, small little reviews of them while I use them. Hopefully you like it. Um, welcome, like and subscribe. First things first, I'm going to use um, this Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Universal Blurring Bump Powder. Um, I've had the smaller version of this um, and I used it all up and I loved it. So I use it as a primer and you know, I have combination skin and it works wonderfully for me. I already did all my skin prep. Um, I have a little mirror right here that I'm looking in. So, let's see. Okay, primer is on. Next, I'm going to use the new Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. My color right now at the moment is 2.5N. And I'm going to use it with a sponge. And I am not a majorly picky when it comes to what brushes I use on my face. Sometimes I can use a sponge, sometimes I can use a brush. Um, today I wanna use a sponge. Right now at the moment, 2N matches me perfectly. I use two during the winter when I'm a little bit more pale and I have the 3N, which I will probably use when I'm a little bit more darker in the summer. I do use sunscreen, but you know, I live in Florida. I'm out and about. And you get suntanned anyway. So I'm gonna put that all over my face. And I love this foundation. I loved it when it was the previous formulation. I love it now. It's actually much better now. Now, the thing to know about this foundation is that it oxidizes a little bit. Um, so be careful with that when you're picking your color. It's, I know, I know it's hard to get to the store these days and everybody kind of orders online, but if you can, I recommend going into the store and seeing which one will work on you and do it, you know, put it on, walk around a little bit, all that nice stuff. Now, down the neck, I also put a little bit on my ears because as you know, I don't love it when my ears stand out. Okay, next we're going to use a little concealer. Now, I've tried this um, Say One. I have it in color three and color six. What I like to do sometimes, I actually love these. What I like to do sometimes is I'll put it on all around my face and use that as my foundation. Today I'm gonna use it as a concealer. So I'm going to cover my sunspots and everything like that with the color six. Um, everywhere. And then I'm going to put a little bit on the outer of my eyes and then over here, okay, all the usual spots. And I'm gonna take the three and I'm going to put it over here, a little bit over here. Now, we're going to blend it all in. I really like 
this concealer it works well for me I have extremely dry under eyes so it works well now some complaints that I hear about it is that it'll settle in fine lines throughout the day yes yes it will all concealers do that I don't care what you hear from anyone else I'm gonna tell you right now I've tried them all they all settle self-setting not self-setting this one that one they all settle into fine lines so you know do, do with that information what you will I set my concealer always um, I try to find powders that are not as drying but you know concealer is concealer it will settle into fine lines no matter which concealer you use Okay, for powder, I got the Bat McGrath pink one. Now, I'm going to tell you how pink it is. You know, it looks pink here next to my face, but you can't really tell on the eyes. But I was out of my uh, translucent one, so I was like, let's try this color. So, I will set it using my sponge again. And for now, that's all I will set. I use a wet sponge, I like that. Sometimes I'll use a powder puff, but for today, we'll use a wet sponge. Okay, next, I'm gonna go in with a cream bronzer that I got from Westman Atelier. It's in, it's the Face Trace Contour Stick in the color Biscuit. I got the smaller size just to try it. And so far, so good. I put it a little bit higher than my, um, like where that bone make meets, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Um, because I am a little older, I'm in my 40s, and uh, what happens is my face is drooping, so everybody's is gravity takes its toll and so i put all my cream and counter and count contouring powders a little bit higher my bronzer my blush i put it all a little bit higher so it gives the illusion of it being a little less droopy uh the brush i'm using is a luxie 512 i don't even know if they make this anymore but it's a great great brush so, you know, I am not what you would call the m most professional makeup person, <laughs> artist. I do love makeup and it is a hobby of mine. It's been for many, oh, can we just talk about it? Side note, how well this blends. And it just gives the most subtle shadow. Oh, look at this, how beautiful is that? For my nose, did I take it with me? I got this brush, it's the Patrick Ta Nose Contour Brush. And I I was skeptical for a long time. I was like, I don't need it, Yeah, you blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. I'm obsessed, it's so good. Then I'll go over with the sponge with whatever concealer is left on it. And that would be all for the cream stuff. I don't, I actually did get a little cream blush from Say in the color Baby. And you know what? I also got the new, this did not, this was not purchased during the sale. Um, I just got it, but I think I might, ooh, I have actually four things. I have the Say Cream Blush, well liquid, in Baby, and I have the Lilac from Dior, 
And then I have, I got the new house lab. I didn't get the, the ones that came out a couple of years ago, the limited edition ones, but I did purchase this one during the sale. It's Pomelo Peach. And I got the Rare Beauty one in the color Joy. So maybe I'll do one cheek with this combination and one cheek with this combination and we'll see how it looks. Let's give it a whirl, but first let's do a light set. Now, I didn't get any other powders. Let me see, it's tacky. I didn't get any other powders during the sale, so I'm going to use my Givenchy that I always use, but I forgot to bring it, so let me go get that. All right, the powder's here. The one I use for my whole face, I, I have the pink one, but the one I use for my whole face is the two in satin blank. Blanc. And I also like to use, sometimes I use a powder puff, I don't bring it here, but I'll kind of like get it on my sponge and then get it in the sponge and then I'll go around the whole face. If you hear my kids, they're all home. It's a Saturday. Apologies for the children. All right. So, set it a little bit nice and quick. Just so it's not tacky. I don't powder overly because I do like a little bit of glow gives me like a youthful glue. All right, for my bronzer, I got the new, not the new, I got the our, our House Labs Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer in medium level six. I'm gonna use my trusty, my dog got to it, <laughs> um, hourglass brush. I'll kind of like stipulate. I really, 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 really like this um, bronzer. It's a really good color for me. I get the ears because, as mentioned before, I'll put a little bit on uh, before the blush, and then once the blush is on, you'll see what I'll do. I'll put a little more on. Okay, so what are we going to do? For, oh, I forgot the cream, Ugh. but it's okay. Hopefully, it'll still go on without lifting. I put a little bit on the back of my hand. And let's go, oh, such a pretty color. Okay, what do we think? Ready? All right, it did not lift my foundation. It didn't do anything, did it? Hmm, I don't think so. It's, I have this weird little patch on my face that it's around the sunspot that I have over here. It just, it's always, it like the color doesn't stick on it. Uh, I don't know what it is. Doesn't matter what product I use. Doesn't matter the primer, the foundation, nothing. It just doesn't want to like, I don't know if you could see like right here. Doesn't matter what it is. This patch, like it'll always look like a spot on my face. I don't, I don't know. It's just no product sticks to it. I don't know what to do, nothing, okay. So we will ignore that because it's not um, any fault of the product itself. It's just my face. That's how it is. Okay. Now we'll go on. Oh, how pretty is this? My original rosy pink is almost done. I've used it up. I'm gonna use... So I know I'm gonna love this. I'm going to use a tiny little bit just to set it. And forget it. Mm. Mm. I mean, are we disappointed? No, 
we are not. Beautiful, yes. Um, these are the Morphe brushes. I'll list everything down below. I don't have any links. I'm not a super mega YouTuber yet, but I will just list the product. Okay, love it, love it. Uh, okay, for the other cheek, I'm going to use the Our House Labs. I keep wanting to call it Hourglass, but it's House Labs. And I'm gonna use another uh, brush. This is the Soft Cheek by Sonia G. And I'm gonna get a little bit because they are pigmented. And the same thing, just stipple it on a little bit. Oh, so, so pretty. Mm. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, if it would be socially acceptable for me to go out outside with <laughs> two different cheek uh, cheeks, I would do it. But this is just for you guys to see the colors now. So for this cheek, I will use the where is it? Ah! my rare, the Rare Beauty um, blush in Joy as the highlighter and slash topper. And it is a super duper beautiful and, you know, glowy. Look at that, oh, gorgeous. Um, I don't really have much texture here, so it's not emphasizing anything for me and this blush formula works for me, but I know a lot of people have complained that it emphasizes texture. I'm going to put a little bit of my um, whatever's left on the sponge around it just to kind of mute it. But for this cheek, I got, I was influenced to get the House Labs by Radiant Gel Powder Highlighter, blah, 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 in Rose Quartz. And I'm gonna use that as the highlighter. And I'm just gonna put it a little bit on top. Oh, gorgeous. So pretty. I use natural light. There's a window right in front of me, but look how beautiful this is. Can you guys see that? Oh. Now, what I like to do after my face is done, my cheeks are done rather, I want to go in with a little bit more bronzer and I'm going to now swoosh it all around just to kind of marry everything. Look how pretty this bronzer looks with this blush. This one is not bad but I'd use maybe a different, maybe a cooler toned bronzer when I'm using a cooler toned cheek, but, mm. okay. So now that I did that, what I like to do is normally I, I have the trio of the hourglass powders and I would swirl all of this around, but I did not get that. I got a backup during the sale, but I didn't get it. I didn't bring it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a tiny little bit of powder that I use for my whole face and I'm gonna get it really in there and I'm going to just marry everything. Just kind of swoosh everything around so that it's nice and blended. Biggest pet peeve of mine is when things are not blended. I just can't, I cannot. All right, we will now Move on to the eyes. Okay, I moved you guys closer. Not too close, but closer. And I, during the sale, got a few eye products. So I did get the new Mario palette. And I also got, where are they? I got the, the Give, um, 
Dazzle shadows. Uh, not dazzle. What are they called? Uh, blah, 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 blah. I see and sparkle multidimensional eye pigment. So I got it in the color dazzle and the color twink twinkle. So I'm going to use, I think today I'm going to use twinkle because as you know, the Mario palette, the new cool tones or whatever, what is it called? The neutrals is there's no sparkle in here. So I do love a bit of shimmer. So what I'm going to do first and foremost, I'm going to get rid of the creases. Now I'm gonna use this color right here to set everything. I have a really um, hooded eye, so when my eye is closed, this one is a little bit more hooded than this one, but when my eyes are opened, you can barely see my lids. So what I like to do is I like to get um, my crease nice and prominent. So I'll have my eyes open. And I'm looking at the viewfinder, rookie mistake. So I'll have my eyes open and I'll put it in my, put the uh, deposits the eyeshadow in my crease. So over here in this eye, you could see the crease a little bit. Here it's fully, fully hooded. So if I'm looking straight at you, right? This one is kind of going above and this one is going right in and above. I don't know if that makes sense. So now that that's done, I'll take a nice fluffy brush and I will blend it all out. Now, today's look is going to be nice and simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of a darker color a little bit below the crease. don't really do like a like a bee thing but it just gives a little bit of dimension same thing here this you really only going to see when I'm closing my eye so I put it in the corner and I'm sorry about my children. I have asked them to be quiet several times, but who listens to mama? And then I'm going to just blend it out. Okay. I will repeat the same on the lower lash. Is it not focusing on me? And I'll take the darker color and just put a little bit on the lower lash. And on the other side. Just a tiny little bit. I don't love a lot on the bottom. And then I will blend it out with the color we used in the crease. And that is that. Okay, now that's it with the um, matte colors. And now I'm going to take the gift color in Twinkle. And I'm going to put a little bit on my mobile lid. And I'm going to do it with my finger. And I'm going to put just a tiny little bit just to give it a little je ne sais quoi, a little bit, a little tiny bit, and that's that. I'm going to go do my eyebrows and my mascara off camera because I didn't get anything new and it's boring. 
All right, eyebrows and mascara are done. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna do the lips. So I didn't get much during the sale. I have so many lip products that I um don't really purchase much during anything, but I did get a lot of these Sephora lip plumping things. I got them in every color and I am obsessed, but this is the one that I got during the sale. So I'm gonna use that one for you. I also got the Dior pink lilac one, but again, that wasn't during the sale, but it was from Sephora. And let me just show you, I haven't even tried it yet. First impressions. Nice and clear. Tiny little hint of lilac, I guess. Cute, I love these. I have them in many different colors. I wasn't gonna pass this one up. But I guess if I really wanted to zhuzh it up, uh, what I would do is I would probably take a little bit of the blush. Let me show you this little combo. Let's see how it looks, rather. Um, Right? Pretty? Pretty? Mm. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one. So let's take that off. Now, this one is Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Liner in Deep to uh, Taupe. I've had it for a while, I love it. I'm going to use that and then I'll show you how it looks with the Sephora Lip Plumper. I don't like to overline my lips because end of the day, little secret girlies, it's very visible. You can tell that you overlined your lips by a lot. A little bit, okay, but like when they go all the way over the lip line, no. All right, ready? Um, how gorgeous is that? Ah, oh. so so pretty. I didn't even tell you what color it was. It's the color ten. Ooh. I cannot see, contagious, outrageous, outrageous. Number 10, beautiful. And now, last but not least, if I were to go out and wear this look all day, which I'm not sure I will, but I would, two different cheeks, maybe I can even it out, let's see. Do I pinkify this one or peachify this one? It's still a little bit of both. Put a little bit peach on here. What do we think? Ta-da! And a little bit of pink on here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Gorgeous. You know what? I want a little bit, a little bit, a little bit more highlighters. So I will take the House Lab one. I will put a little bit more here. And a little bit more here. Maybe here. And that, my friends, is the complete... Oh, setting spray. One size. This, guys, oh my god hairspray for your face. Smells like hairspray, feels like hairspray. I don't love it. I love my hourglass one, but this is what I got during the sale just to try it. Does it make the makeup last? I'm gonna tell you right now, yes, Florida heat, Florida humidity, yes it does. But so does my hourglass and so does my Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna use it up because I bought it. I will not buy it again because it's just, it's hairspray. 
<laughs> anyway, this is the complete look. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you got anything during the Sephora sale. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know. I will be looking forward to your comments again. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.